So today we're going to go through our new um, tether connector and our new LAN, uh, LARS frame. Our LARS frame is our launch and recovery system, which is used to connect and disconnect the tether connector. The tether connector is what connects the kite to the seabed uh, and hydraulically locks it in. So using the cameras here, the cameras on the launch and recovery system frame, uh, we can actually guide it. So when this is all connected to a vessel, this will all be controlled from the vessel uh, and we could just use the cameras just to guide it, uh, and that's also when it's subsea. Okay, so now that we've got the LARS frame on top of the tether connector, the next stage is to hydraulically uh, lock the, the two systems together so that then we can lift it and lower it into the seabed. So we just need to actuate the hydraulics uh, and that will hydraulically lock the LARS frame to the tether connector so that we can begin our lift. As we can see on our screen, we've got two indicators uh, and they just indicate when we're in the locked position and when we're safe to lift. So when we're on board the vessel, all we're going to do is look at these screens. All the systems will now be subsea. So we're going to have our, our cameras and lighting that's connected to our LARS frame. Uh, we've got dimmers for our lights. We can adjust the cameras with the hydraulics, uh, move it about so we can see what we want to see. But we've also got six cameras connected so that we can, we've got a good view of everything and that's how we're going to guide it in. Uh, so we'll be completely remotely doing all of this from the bridge of the, of the vessel. So once we get to this point here, we're going to be having a look at the screen. Uh, we're going to try and locate uh, the locating ram into, into the foundation hole. And then once we've got it located, we'll, we'll press down on the crane. Uh, and then it's got location pins, so it can only go in one way. Uh, and it'll actually, once we've got it roughly in the correct area, we'll lower it and it'll locate itself in perfectly and lock in every time. Okay, so now that we've got the tether connector sunk directly into the foundation, uh, we just need to hydraulically lock lock it in place. Uh, that works by applying hydraulic pressure, uh, which releases some fingers, which pick up on the receptacle. Okay, and now that everything's all connected, we've got the um, tether connector connected to the seabed. It's all hydraulically locked in, uh, electrically connected. Uh, so we're now ready to lift the large frame off, and then the kite is connected to the foundation, and we're ready to produce power.